Welcome back to our series on candle making for beginners. Today we are going to be diving into one of the most important steps of the candle making process. Choosing the right wax. When it comes to candle making, there are a variety of wax to choose from, each with their own unique characteristic. Here are some key factors to consider when selecting the right wax for your candle. First melting point. The melting point of wax is the the temperature at which it turns from solid to liquid. Different wax have a different melting point, so it is important to choose one that is appropriate for your type of candle you want to make. For example, a lower melt point wax may be better for a container candle that you want to burn for a longer period of a time, while a higher melting point wax may be better for pillar candle that you want to burn for shorter period of a time. Lower melting point waxes are typically easier to work with and pour. The next important factor you should consider before choosing a wax is scent throw. Scent throw is the strength and the ability of candles fragrance to travel through the wax and fill the room with its aroma. Some waxes have a better scent throw than others. Uh, soya wax and bee wax are known for having a good scent throw while paraffin wax have a weaker scent throw. The scent throw can also be affected by the type of fragrance oil used and the amount added to the wax. It's a high concentration of fragrance oil which is a stronger scent throw. It's not always true. Scent throw depends on other factors also. Type of wax you are using, your uh, wick depends on which environment you are testing fragrance oil when choosing wax for candle making it is important to consider the desired scent throw if you want your candle to have a strong fragrance you'll want to choose a wax that has a good scent throw and use a fragrance oil with a high concentration furthermore it is also important to note that some fragrance oil react differently with the different waxes some may perform better in some waxes than others so it's good to test the fragrance oil with planning to use before making a big batch of candles so next factor is fragrance load so different type of wax can hold different percentage of fragrance oil the maximum fragrance oil load a wax can hold is called fragrance load this varies depends on the type of wax used soya and bee wax have a higher fragrance load compared to other waxes soya can typically hold up to 10 percent fragrance oil while bee wax can hold up to 50 on the other hand paraffin wax can hold up to 6 to 8 percent fragrance oil it is important to note that using more fragrance oil than the recommended percentage can result a weak scent throw and it also can affect the burning properties of your candle it is best to stick to the recommended fragrance oil load for the wax you are using on the other note that some fragrance oil may perform better at lower concentration than others so it is good to test the fragrance oil with the wax you are planning to use so next factor is environmental impact fact that a product has on environment when it comes to candle making the environmental impact of the wax to the used is an important factor to consider some type of wax such as paraffin wax are derived from non-renewable resources and are not biodegradable which can have a negative impact on the environment let's talk about soya wax soya wax is 100 percent natural so it's eco-friendly and offer a clean burn and slow burning time it's less toxic and it's a great choice for container candles Paraffin wax is widely available, it's inexpensive and it has a long burn time. A cons is produce a good amount of soot when you're burning. Soy blend is a combination of soy and other waxes. It has a good centro, long burn time and it creates a unique and texture appearance. Bee wax is another popular wax of candle making. It is 100% all natural and offer a great scent throw. It's eco-friendly and help to purify the air. Now the one of the cons of using bee wax is it can be a little pricey. There are many other factors to consider when choosing a wax for your candle. But these are the some of most important ones. In the next video, we will cover how to choose the right fragrance for your candle. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or comment, please.